Living Hope. Uh, my name is Derek Wong, and I'm in Prime. Before coming to Living Hope, I was at Lighthouse Community Church for seven years, where I had the privilege of taking the Gospel-Centered Counselor training. And I'm so excited that Pastor Kim Kira and Pastor Tim St. John are coming here to bless us through their teaching ministry, uh, because this course is uh, undoubtedly one of my favorite experiences I've ever had in ministry. Now, a lot of thoughts may come to mind when you think of the word counseling, but biblical counseling is simply showing Christ as worthy to be trusted, loved, and worshipped. And through counseling, we're helping each other know Christ more deeply and accurately so that we trust him more truly, love him more intensely, worship him exclusively, and live for him more faithfully. The reason for the training is that we're all counselors. We all have counseling moments in our daily interactions with loved ones uh, because we're all sufferers and sinners who sin and are sinned against. And oftentimes in these counseling moments, instead of sharing gospel-centered, hope-filled words that direct people's worship to Christ, we share trite trivialities like, it's all going to be okay, or you're a good catch, you'll find someone else, uh, or a Bible verse and promise for prayer, uh, which we rarely do if we're being honest. And so the purpose of the training is to equip believers to better love others uh, through fueling their faith and love of God rather than idols by helping them to get to know Jesus, the object of their faith, so that people are so fully satisfied in God that they don't look for shallow, fleeting satisfaction from the idols of the world. In James chapter 4, verses 1 to 2, James writes, What causes quarrels and what causes fights among you? Is it not this, that your passions are at war within you? You desire and do not have, so you murder, you covet, and cannot obtain, so you fight and quarrel. One of the early foundational truths that I learned in the training uh, is that my greatest problems are not outside of me, but the sin inside of me. My heart is behind all my behavior. When I sin, it's because my heart desires something more than God. Therefore, the battleground for change is my heart. I must address my own heart, not just my circumstances, other people, behavior, or feelings. So when I'm stressed out and I'm discontent with my job, with my finances, relationships, or just in general the way my life is going, instead of blaming others or my circumstances, which is my natural tendency, I've learned to apply what I've been taught in counselor training. Now, this is very simplified and abbreviated, but it might look like something like this. Uh, first, I start by identifying my idols. For instance, money and the approval of others. And then I determine the deeper uh, heart desires behind these idols. For example, that I seek money and the approval of others because I think that they'll provide me with security and love. And then I saturate my heart with truths from scripture to preach to myself that these deeper desires are only truly and fully satisfied in Jesus, such as that I'm fully secure in Christ, my sovereign good God who is for me and who never forsakes me, or that I'm fully loved by God whose steadfast love is better than life. Ultimately, my battle plan for change is to push out inferior worship of idols and to replace it with a superior worship of Christ. Um, I want to think more deeply about my idolatry so that I can more particularly and more practically demonstrate Jesus as supreme. The question I'm seeking to answer is, what is it I'm seeking in this idol that I'm meant to find in Christ? I know that we're all busy, but I want to encourage everyone to sign up and take this course. I enjoyed it so much that I'm going to take it again. Personally, I think that the blend and the balance of theology and practicality in the training is masterful and that the content in this course will be relevant and helpful for everyone, regardless of your season of life or where you are in your walk with the Lord. I'm excited because I think that the Lord will work mightily uh, through this training to make the people of Living Hope better spouses, parents, friends, and believers as he exposes our sin and grows our faith, leading to hearts and lives that are changed by the grace of the gospel. Thanks so much for your time. Thank you.